Hello, I'm Chef Eric with Steakager. Welcome to the Steakager family and the Steakager revolution. This video I'm going to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to assemble your Steakager. It's going to come delivered in a box just like this. So let's see what's inside. foam tray. This is the heart and the brain of the steak ager. This is going to be the top. You have your fans, you have your UV light, and you have the motherboard inside. We have the power supply. the right and left sides of the box. We have the back of the box and all these pieces are labeled. We will have two shelves, top and the bottom. the floor of your stay gauger. This is your plexiglass door. We'll peel off the protective coating later. We have a burlap satchel with coarse sea salt. And we have a bag with the installation hardware. Now there are no tools necessary to build your steak ager. We also have a set of instructions that go over the components of the steak ager. It has a uh, brief synopsis of the assembly of your steak ager and it has a few pointers that you're going to want to know when you're ready to put uh, steak in and it's got some cleaning instructions so don't lose these. Here we have all the components for the steak ager laid out on the table. I want to bring your attention to a couple of components that were in the bag. We have snap rivets that we use to assemble the steak ager no tools required. You'll be you know, line up the hole, you'll insert the snap rivet base, and then into that you'll insert the snap rivet to secure the walls and the floor of the steak ager. We also have uh, shelf brackets and window support. And we have a T-handle which will be installed on the plexiglass door does have a screw. I will encourage you not to over tighten so you don't crack the plexiglass door. Now, a few of the components come coated in a protective coating that's used in the manufacturing process. You have a protective coating on the floor of the steak ager, a protective coating on the head unit, and a protective coating on both sides of the plexiglass door. I have gone and removed those already. So you're going to want to do that before you start your assembly. Now I referred to the instructions that come with the steak ager. I am going to go along these instructions with you so it's very clear on how to build your steak ager. So we've removed the protective coating and the first step is to stand the head unit up on one side and it is the side that has the exhaust fan facing up. That's the exhaust fan, and you want to stand it up on its end, and you are going to take the shelf marked right shelf, and you'll see an indentation here, and you'll also see the port 
for the exhaust fan. So we are going to line that up. Simply lay it in place. We're going to take a base for one of the snap rivets and we're going to take the head to the snap rivet and we're going to snap it into place to secure and it will absolutely snap in nice and tight. Do the same thing on the hole in the bottom. You line it up and snap it in. That simple. Okay. Now, the next instruction. We're going to stand the head unit on the side. And we're going to repeat the process for the left side. So it in place. Attach a snap rivet base and a snap rivet head. Listen for the snap and the other side. So here we have the two sides. And the head unit attached. Now we are going to slide in the floor of the steak ager. Flip that back up. And you'll see there's a groove. It goes in this way. So what we're going to want to do is line it up on one side, still have some play, and we're going to snap it into place. And what's important is that these holes line up. And again, we're going to snap it in with Snap rivets, like so. And the other side. Okay, everything is secure. Now, next comes the back, and again you'll see the angled grooves, which you're going to want to make sure as you take the power cord and put it through this little notch. Okay, so now we have the power cord out and through the notch in the back plate and we are going to angle the angled part and slide it into the groove making sure that that power cord is free and we are going to snap the panel in like so and we are going to secure it with Snap rivets, like we did previously. Making sure it's lined up. Like so. Securing it with the rivet. 
snap. Assembled steak gauger. Cord coming out the back. Display unit on top. Next step going to be insert your foam tray in the bottom. We are going to insert the shelf brackets. There are clear holes for that. In. Should fit nice and snugly. Four of them. for the door support. You'll take the salt satchel and put it on the drip tray. We are going to put our T handle into the door, and again, we don't want to over tighten. The decal on the door indicates which side is out. the door into place, leaning the bottom up against the door bracket. And slide the door in. Last thing we want to do, your steakager comes with two active carbon filters that filters the air that comes out the exhaust port and prevents any smells getting into your refrigerator. We're going to want to sit one in place just like that. And it's normal for it to be sticking out a little bit. And you're going to put these aside for your next age. And you have the power cord. And so, you can see in a few minutes we built the steak ager and you're ready to start dry aging beef safely in your own home. I invite you to join the Steak Ager Facebook family page for ideas, information, uh, share your photos, share your experiences, ask questions. They'll, they can all be answered there. And we'll see you next time for the next Steak Ager video.